Uh, maybe you have questions about uh, Frank Napolitano subject from MortgageBrokersOttawa.com. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Good to Welcome see you. Welcome back. Thank you a lot. Thank, uh, thanks very much. Uh, <coughs> while I was away, as a matter of fact, in the last week or so, last week, Mm -hmm. uh, new mortgage rules have come into play. What are those rule changes? Well, only one of them, I think, is truly the one that's that's got a lot of people wondering, and that's the amortization being lowered from 30 to 25 years. So, so that one's at, of a concern, especially for young individuals Does or that couples. Take a lot of people out of play. I, I think it'll take some people out of play. I'm I'm not convinced it'll take a whole bunch of people out of play, but. Five, ten percent of people out of play, and and, and and that will affect the real estate market. I think across the country quite a bit. Yeah, and the real estate market was pretty good. It's very good, and uh, I, again, I mean, I shake my head a little bit at uh, you know some of these rule changes, and the reason I shake my head is because I've met with many, many young individuals and couples over the last five years, and watched them actually create some wealth by being able to buy a home, and with the interest rates as low as they are, watch, and, you know, and showing them that that thirty, forty percent of their payment even on a 30-year amortization, is going towards their principal and not necessarily all interest, which is what we were accustomed to in the 80s, 90s, when the interest rates were in the 6, 7, 8, as high yeah, as 13 and 14 percent. Yeah, you're paying a lot, lot more interest so. than you were on principal. So, disappointing. What, I mean, what was the reasoning behind shortening the amortization uh, from 30 to 25? Well, I think they're looking to cool off the real estate market a little bit because Why? the borrowing is at 152 percent, and they use this, this, this number to to decide that people are getting in over their heads and, and I think they've missed the boat on uh, going after some other things and an example is uh, unsecured credit yeah. and people with credit cards. Credit and people card with, to interest rates you know, maybe. You know it's interesting how you don't have to put up a, a down payment for a car yet the minute you drive it off the lot you're down 20% yeah. to the vehicle values yeah. worth 20% <laughs> but Where yet on a home up. or your home's going up uh, we're putting restrictions equity. on it so uh, anyway it's a head scratcher. I mean the other changes weren't as significant. I mean I didn't even know that you can get CMHC insurance on a property over a million dollars. I mean, I, I would never imagine somebody coming in and saying, I'm buying a $1.2 million property and I only have 5% down. I would think that somebody buying a property over a million bucks has got a significant down payment to go you into. But apparently that rule was in place and I never got to experience it. So, uh, But uh, that's eliminated now and that shouldn't have been there in the first place, I thought. Right. Uh, you know, they, uh, they made a little bit of a change on, on the refinance, and that's another good rule, and I have no problem with, you know, if, if, if you buy a home, and, and what, the, what the government doesn't want to see is that a home is used, like in the U.S., as an ATM, where you're consistently refinancing it. So what they've put in place is that you can only refinance it to 80%. Mm. Fantastic rule. So that's why I was a little surprised. Once they made that change, I mean, then leave the 5% and leave the 30-year amortization, because over a five-year period, did the math, and actually, uh, you know, somebody buying a $300,000 home, at the end of five years, if, if they took the five-year rate the way it is now with the 30-year amortization, did buy weekly payments, their mortgage would be down to about 250000 and the home, if it appreciated, even, a two, even if it didn't appreciate, it would still be worth 300000 That's $50,000 worth of equity that a young couple or individual could build into a home in the first five years as opposed to paying rent, so... Mm. So that's disappointing. Now, Puzzling, yeah. the payment goes up, and again, some people won't be able to qualify. And I'm worried more about the young, again, the younger couples that, that have come out of university. They still have some student debt. They've now got their career up and running, and now they've got to wait another year or two before they can qualify uh, to buy a home. So that's another year or two that they're throwing money away at rent. Any questions on the changes? Anything you need to know about acquiring uh, your first mortgage or whatever the case may be, make sure you get in touch with Frank and his team at uh, MortgageBrokersOttawa.com. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friends. Good to see you.